Outdoors Bound on WFXR News. Brought to you by these sponsors. And we are headed Outdoors Bound this morning. So even giants, they have to start out as teeny tiny babies, right? <laughs> yeah, now <laughs> some future giants are going to be planted into Smith Mountain Lake. WFXR's George Nola brings us the story of F1 largemouth bass. This is how they start, and this is how they finish. With a name like F1, they sound like they should be a fighter jet or maybe a tank. F1 is a cross between a pure northern largemouth bass and a pure Florida bass. While they have a military sounding name, fisheries biologists and anglers alike are hoping they trigger a big bass explosion at a number of lakes around Virginia, including Smith Mountain Lake, where they were recently stopped. Yeah, that was 22. Generally speaking, when you cross the pure Florida and the pure northern, their offspring seem to grow a little bit better and they get a little bit larger. Very exciting day for us. Another 75,000 there about uh, going in the lake and looking forward to the future. The little large mouse are only about two inches long when they go into the water, but they grow quickly. By some estimates, F1s can grow up to a pound a year. The stockings are part of a 10-year plan to help produce larger bass in various Virginia lakes. Not clear yet what impact the stockings have had at Smith Mountain Lake, but Dwayne Lamb says the anecdotal evidence is there, and he sees it when his customers bring fish to the scales. Every year, if we just see an in improvement every year, I, I know of uh, five over nine pounds this past spring, and I look to hit double digits next spring. How y'all doing, folks? The Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources also stocked F1s at Clear Lake last week. The F1 stocking program has been going on for almost a decade. There's some evidence the program's working. The number of four pound plus bass in Smith Mountain Lake higher now than it has been in years. However, the data is going to need to be analyzed to get a better handle on just how effective the program is. And so, George, why the focus on developing these bass? Well, few reasons. First, bigger bass indicate that you have a very healthy fishery. They're, they're, they're eating while they're growing. Second, big bass mean big bucks. <laughs> big bucks. Yeah. Trophy fisheries attract a lot of anglers. That translates into tourism dollars, tax dollars, and fishing and boating licenses sold. So, you know, there's money uh, money at play here, but, you know, there's also, you know, you catch big bass, you got some bragging rights, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get to catch some big old fish. fish. I bet you were ready for that, huh? I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> you always, you always got to be ready for yeah, the big old fish. Yeah, We work that in wherever we can. Big, big old, old fish. fish. <laughs> we'll get you excited one day. We will. I need to catch one. Yeah. We need to, I'm, I know. I'm we'll, to get get there. There. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. George Nolan with our WXL, WXL Outdoors Bound team. Thanks so much for joining us this morning.